Greatest pitcher in Chicago Cubs history, Fergie Jenkins, joining us in the booth. How are you doing, Fergie? Oh, great, guys. Great to have you here as always. It's and a good. pitcher's duel today. Definitely. I think that uh, these young right handers, they're throwing strikes, and that's what it's all about. Hendricks and Latos, 1 0 Cubs as we play the seventh. Justin Yelich was at the plate when D. Gordon was picked off to end the top of the sixth. First thing, Fergie, uh, Cubs honoring Ernie Banks all season long. They've got the number 14 patch uh, on the sleeve. Uh, we think about Ernie every day. Uh, just talk about your relationship with Mr. Cub throughout your career here in Chicago and then you know, after you guys retired. Well, we roomed together the last three years we played. Uh, just an outstanding individual. Talked the game of baseball. He never really talked about himself. He, he enjoyed running across that infield to play first base and uh, putting that uniform on and, and hitting. I know that, uh, like everybody, that, that, that's a Cub fan, seen number 500 here in Wrigley Field. And then his last home run, 512. I mean, the. Uh, it just brings tears to your eyes when the guy goes out there and, and he performs the way he did and, and, and such a great hitter and, and a modest individual. Well you're right. We would ask him about something in his career and he would invariably turn it around to talk about his teammates or great guys he played against. Or he would ask you how you're doing. Uh, he, right. You're right. He he was way better as a player than young people would remember or know because he did not uh, promote himself. In that regard, yeah, his his playing career almost gets diminished a little bit in people's eyes because they see him as this, oh Ernie, who oh he's a happy-go-lucky guy, let's play two guy, and, and, and you know younger people that don't look at the numbers don't realize how good a player he was. Oh, outstanding! You know, I I, I didn't know that he won a Gold Glove as a shortstop, and he MVP two years yeah, in a row, back to back. Yeah. So you know, 40 homer guys as shortstop. Yeah. I mean, he had great teammates around him. But when I joined the ball club in 66, everything was, you know, Ernie's le le losing it here. Billy Williams is the outstanding hitter. Ronnie and Kessinger Becker. But then all of a sudden, you want a clutch hit, Ernie Banks to come up with it. Or a home run, opening day. He had a home run against Chris Short. Uh, I'm trying to think what year it was. I was opening day pitcher. He had a home run and a double driving the runs that I ended up winning the ball game. There's some trouble here for Kyle Hendricks. Kind of off low trouble. And a single. Yeah. So there will be some action yeah. in the bullpen. So what do you tell yourself here, Fergie? You've, you've been mowing them down all day. All of a sudden, first two guys get on just like that. For a dangerous hitter coming up. Well, I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to go. I'm going to attack the hitter the same way. See if I can get a ground ball. And you got guys in the infield to turn that double play, get you out of this jam. But uh, runners on first and second, you got to make good pitches. Can't afford to make a mistake now. For them to tie the ball game up. You know he's not going to bunt. It's a cleanup guy. And he's left handed. <laughs> well, so you got to make him hit the ball yeah. on the ground. <laughs> this is interesting because he has abused Bohr so far today, primarily with the changeup. And that's, you know, third time through, as a pitcher, sometimes you start to think, Man, is he going to start sitting on that pitch? Can I continue to throw it here? You know, I, I don't want to change either way. You got to pop up in the infield. And it was a changeup. Yeah. Right there. Outstanding. I mean, you can't change uh, your format. Biggest thing is, don't change what's been successful the whole day. Yeah, this this one probably not exactly where he wanted to put it, but you see Board kind of pulling off the ball. He see he has images of doing some serious damage here with a couple of men on. He's leaking a little bit. He's trying to hit that ball into the right field seats. And make very good contact on that high changeup. When the bat's slow, you're going to pop it up a lot. For sure. Gillespie 0 for 2. First and second. Cups leading by just a run. There's a strike. What's going on with the foundation these days? Uh, it's been working really well. I know that we've we just left uh, Des Moines where we had a couple of days. It rained a few, but we, we got the games in uh, supporting a JDRF and also uh, ju uh, juvenile diabetes and also cancer research. This will be out number two as Yelich will head back to tag with no chance. They head to third, so still first and second, two outs. Now,
for both of you. You've done it before. This is where you really have to bear down, right? Because, J.D., you've talked about this spot. You feel like you're, you're out of it, but you're not quite out of it yet, right? Yeah, I think no. that's why Basio's going after the mound, because this is precisely what happened to him in Miami. Uh, di different guys, but uh, he had a bases-loaded situation. He punched out Stanton and Bohr, I believe, and then Ozuna got the bases clearing double against him. And it, you know, Sometimes, I guess, it's good for the pitching coaches to come out and kind of nudge you a little bit. Don't forget. Stay yeah, you got to stay positive. I mean, the easiest two outs, you just got them right now, two little pop-ups. The, the toughest out in the inning is the third out. And you have to work hard to, to stay concentrated. And, and I think just a, an added plus having the pitching coach come out and just remind you, situation, although you know yourself. Yeah, especially, you know, because it happened to him earlier this year, and he's a pretty smart kid that, you know, he, he learns from his mistakes. And he's got a left-handed hitter. I mean, it's been working. Don't change it. You know, I, I just think that stay positive, and uh, he's been doing a great job. at and you versus Multiview. Yelich walked, and Chavaria then singled. And Dietrich takes a strike. Well, and this is where we also get into the, the anxiety of a hitter in a spot where his team's not scoring a lot of runs, runners in scoring position. They want to swing the bat. Be the hero. Yeah, the biggest thing is you got to recognize pitches too, and, and he's done such a great job. Look at that change up right back to him. Beautiful thing. Okay, here we go, Fergie. Right. Fergie Jenkins with a stretch. 